Monday. So let's go straight to NASDAQ, US 30 and gold. So guys, uh, if you want to be in my group now from Monday, uh, it's $100 once off. You just pay once, then you are in my VIP group. You get different signals from there. You get like uh, gold US 30, NASDAQ 100, DEX 100, sorry, DEX 30. Or you can call it German 30. Mm, also currency pairs, S&P 500. So guys, people, they must not scam you. If maybe you want maybe to send me a message and you don't know my contacts, just go to my YouTube channel, which is Extra Hot Forex. You can check the subscribers, it's 500 something. Then just comment there. I will just direct you to my numbers or on every uh, video description there is my contacts there uh, or, or check whatsapp me so whatsapp me on those numbers or even telegram i use the same numbers so i will also you can see the numbers here that are on my telegram sorry on on my youtube channel so try to check that if maybe you have any problem because i see some people they trying to log in with my whatsapp number I can just see the code when someone's trying to log in with my WhatsApp. So they think or they are smart they just, they, because they just want the shortcuts. So in this uh, life, there's no shortcuts, guys. We just learn these things. So let's go straight to NASDAQ. If they want the shortcuts, they just want to scam you, then they are in trouble. So, okay. Here is NASDAQ, guys. It's weekly. Sorry. It's weekly. My it's, this is my weekly idea. So I started with daily time frame. On the daily time frame, we can still see that the market is still pushing up. You can see the market is still pushing up. You see why the market is pushing up? Because we are on an uptrend. Easy answer or easy question to ask. Why is it, is it pushing up? The market it means the bullish are very strong. That's why we see this bullish momentum simple as that so here i already drawn uh, this resist the support line here but you can see here the market did not reach here why just because this is a zone if maybe you, you draw double lines all those things they will make sense so don't just try to force every uh, lower low uh, to touch your resistant or support because the market won't play like that won't just create perfect movement so that's why you don't see your your can your lines do, doesn't match exactly with the market why because the market just moves up and down so if not everything will be perfect when we deal with something like this so since you see this it's an uptrend it's fine so we can go on our on our analysis we can just go maybe to a four hour time frame so that we can see the bigger picture why because we already saw that okay on a daily time frame the market is just going up you see something simple simple as that so let me draw those trends line let me change to a four hour time frame mm, this is a four hour time frame guys so on a four hour time frame i must try to connect my lower lows when I say lower low, I mean this point. I must try to connect to this point. This point, you can see this point. So this point, if I try to connect them, they can make sense. If I draw maybe something like this. If I connect these zeros, they will just create a nice uh, move like that. So let's do that now, now. So guys, if you want to be my student, if you want to learn how from zero like from zero to a pro uh, i'm creating a course which is going to be 200 dollars for 60 days then i'll i think maybe i'll teach you everything i be creating only videos i i don't like using like documents so i'll just create videos for you so that you can see exactly what i'm doing so that you can catch uh, you can get everything quicker you can just understand everything very quick so here you can see you can see that we have 
a very nice uptrend a very nice uptrend a very nice uptrend and we killed it guys we really killed it around here we had some nice buys around here so everything was was just nice last week uh, last week so we made a very nice profits but even if you go back and check my previous videos you can see that i was also telling people to buy around this area i hope you saw that if you did not see go check them and you will see what uh, really what, what is really happening so here you can maybe try to draw something like this like this like this and try to connect them because i i think maybe we had some we can have something like let's try to connect them something like maybe something like this so but if the market breaks out around there we can still have another nice price because if you miss the market here or maybe if you made profit here and already maybe obviously i think everyone's out maybe we can still wait for the market to break this area then we can say we can push higher you see so i don't want to add much here i don't want to confuse anyone but let me go maybe to two hours i want to show you how to connect those uh, so that you can have maybe if you can you want to place another another buy let's try to connect them you can see they really make sense guys you can see maybe you can i don't know if maybe you started here will they make sense yeah maybe something like that but i don't have to force it something like that maybe it was going to make some sense let me continue so if maybe you just want to make things quicker you don't want to analyze then you're going to be in a very bad position because sometimes you're going to get things wrong why just because you are always in a hurry you don't want to take your time when you analyze guys you see sometimes you have to take your time when you analyze so that you can get things correctly you see so here i think the market is going to maybe we can see a sell-off but by the way the way i saw the market last week i think maybe when on monday early on monday i think maybe we can get this breakout here then the market can still push up i hope maybe we can find the market around this area so that we can have a, or maybe we can able to see a very nice move here so that if maybe it's a sell we can wait if it's we have another buy we can take that buy again you see but from here it means this it's a wedge actually it's a wedge you can see you be waiting for the market to break this area or the market to come around this area again maybe to break this area and go down but the overall picture my opinion about this i think the market even if maybe we have another sell off i think the market has to break this area here the market can break this area and push high you see <sighs> yeah why because we are on a very nice and strong up trend up trend guys I, I preach about these things every day so let's go straight to us 30. Uh, dow jones let's see my network is very slow but it's fine it's sunday I don't think everyone uh, it's in a hurry if you want to make money guys you should be patient if you are not even patient to watch this video uh, then you are in trouble because the market will just humble you until uh, you have that patient so let's see here let me just try to make things very quick you can see here we had something like that maybe even here we have something like that so it seems like a uh, us 30 is still keeping going up you can see here it was a zone even here it was a zone so when i say zone i mean where the market will just play around like that here we had a very nice breakout i missed this one guys i can't lie i missed this one because sometimes when you, you have trades for other uh, uh what maybe other pairs or other whatever that we trade sometimes we don't really check much here even if we check sometimes we don't see any opportunity then the market just shut up i thought this was a resistance then the market broke this area is pushing up again so we can expect the market maybe to 
pull up a little bit then i don't expect we can i don't see any way i don't see if a area where maybe i can say we can sell or buy why because these are the new highs so everything is new around this area so i won't know where is a resistant or where is a support so i'm just waiting i'm still with this ones here only this ones why because we had the market came several times around this area but here the market just came once so i don't know much about this area we will wait for the market to pull down or sell off then when it pull, it goes up again we can say okay maybe we're going to have something like that you see so we don't have to waste our time on something that is still creating some new highs and you see so the best thing is we can just go to something so it means when we see something like this we just have to relax to relax for the market to create another structure you will have to wait or sometimes you have to be patient guys you have to wait for the market to create another structure something like this let's say maybe if the market comes here and do something like this then we're going to have another structure here then we can say maybe now when the market is here we're going to buy when it's here we're going to buy maybe when it's here we're going to sell something like that but now we don't have that so we have we don't have to force the market we can stick to other pairs that maybe create some nice moves where maybe we can have some nice buys or nice sell so uh, on us data i think maybe you understand everything you can see we can just ignore it for for now let's see what's happened on monday then we can see maybe we have an idea so this is gold guys now i moved to gold gold was uh, on uptrend for some time now we were on uptrend for some time let's see Mm, let's see that so this is an uptrend guys i hope everyone can see but you know how gold plays gold has like this crazy moves where it will just create rejection if maybe you bought we have some bias around somewhere here we lost then i think here uh, there was another buy but we missed that so gold will create those moves where it will just reject uh, strongly mostly to hit your stop loss so that when you're out okay when you're out you're no longer going to go back and it's where the market is going to uh, where the market is going to take that direction that you lost with you see something like this we have something like this here so here it means we can you can see i hope guys you can see this this is a four hour time frame guys so why this is a weekly idea the bigger picture is we have a support here it was a resistant obviously but now you can call it a support if the market comes back we can expect the market to respect this area before it pushes up if it breaks this area when it comes here it means we can look to the to the left and check if maybe we had another support which is this one we can say maybe the market can create something like that if we break this one we can it's where we can say okay the market is going to go down even if maybe we go to a bit smaller time frame but let's see it's still the same thing it's still the same thing is very nice you can see that but i think maybe here we can have a resistant the market can just play around there before we can have another breakout going uh, upside so these things you have to think about them before they even happen when the market uh, create those moves you already like two steps ahead of what might happen that's why sometimes we can lose uh, but we can't lose like often we can lose only three times and we win six times which is what we want in the market so you have to have that experience so that you can able to think like two times ahead what might happen here something like this can happen before we can see the market pushing up again if we have a sell-off maybe this is going to be our support something like that so that way it's how you can like 
understand how the market will move you see even this support here uh, this is resistant now it's going to be a support it also agrees with this one they meet on the way and it's where you think we think the market can come and come there around and push up again so guys if you're not subscribed he does subscribe just smash that subscribe button like share with your friends check my instagram group it's a free group where you can get my daily updates about whatever that i do there and if you want to if you want to be in the group it's a one-time fee you pay once it's hundred dollars from monday so just let me know check my description there's my contacts make sure that you talk to me you talk to me my name is kenneth and if maybe you want to whatsapp me or telegram me or email me it's kenneth you will see kenneth there make sure you get the right information that's why it's very necessary if you want to be in my group to go to my free telegram group so that you can get in a some correct information because people they just want to scam you guys they can use my name or something someone's name just to scam you i saw people they try to hack my uh, i can't even say it's a hacking they just want to log in with my whatsapp which is very stupid because how can you do that because it will send the code to me and other security information to verify you see anyway this is kenzo extra hot forex uh, i hope you have a very great sunday uh, i'll talk to you tomorrow this is kenzo extra hot forex pow